welcome back to my channel. Please ignore the way I look right now, but I was so excited. I needed to show you what I did. I did a thing, and this was the thing. Hi, Pat. You're gonna be on YouTube. Don't interrupt then. This is what I did. I bought a freaking van. van. It's a freaking camper van. It is a Mazda Bongo. Look how pretty she is. She's so freaking pretty. Um, I think it's a Bongo Friendy. Um, because that's what like one of the previous owners has put on it. So I'm gonna go with it and say that's what it is. It's a 1995 plate and she was imported to the UK in 2005 from Japan. Um, I'm just gonna show you around back and whatnot. You can actually see inside slightly here. Um, but yeah. So I wanted to give you a really quick little tour before I actually do things to it. Um, so this is the inside. Now it is a bit like of a mess <coughs> at the minute. I'm gonna quickly show you uh, the cab, but I'm gonna do it from the back because, I mean, the doors are locked. Oh, actually, oh, so this is quite exciting. So, cause I'm like quite old and this just brings back memories for me from when I was younger, but do you all remember these? Oh, look, now it's unlocked. Oh, how fun, how fun is that? So now I can open it. Yeah, these, I remember these when I was younger. Like you just used to do that till I can unlock them. Anywho, so this is the front. Let's get rid of that. So this is the front of the cab. Obviously she is quite purpley, which is one of the things I was really excited about my look. Obviously she is an automatic. Uh, I think kind of like 90% of the bongos are which was awesome because I can only drive automatic. Some of you guys might remember when I first passed my test and I did my little drive in my little smart car. This is slightly bigger than the smart car. Just say it. So, um, Dan got me this wheel, uh, steering wheel cover, which uh, saw me. But yeah, like the previous owner has like stuck like these little thingies around it and stuff in certain places and yeah super comfy to drive um it's like not high tech or anything this is just like a regular stereo but it hooks up to the bluetooth i can just play like spotify or youtube or whatever through my phone and it's just awesome i love it um so yeah i mean i can do more of an in-depth thing in the front once i've had a little while and i can talk a bit more about it um, and whatnot, but yeah, that's basically just an overview of the front of the cab. So yeah, let's go into the back of the van now. <laughs> they left this. I mean, this van was meant for me, wasn't it? Let's be real. Love the flooring as well. This is a little bit come a bit loose, but yeah, I can sort all that out and and whatnot. So. I'm going to try and just explain like what we've got so far. I wanted to do this as just like a quick um, video for you guys because I do want to do things to the van. I thought let's get a before kind of thing. So obviously we've got these seats here um, and then there's a table that goes here. I think I have a picture which I might insert but it's just literally a table and then you've got two seats and a table. These have storage and the storage is full because I've literally um, just done, um, I've been out in it and I needed to use the storage. So that's why I'm trying to get this done now before anything else happens. Um, so we've got storage under here. Oh, it's all full. Um, under here is where you would keep the water bottles. I've got a fresh and a grey. Um, they're not in there at the moment. And then this is really cool. I think this is such a good idea. Because it just means you've got like a flat surface, but then you've also got your sink and your hob. I know that this is really um, common and this is just what they're all like. But I do think it's such a clever idea. Like you're in something with very, very small space. And now if you're not using them, you just got a table or a desk. You sit here and like edit YouTube videos if you want. Uh, and then a two burner hob. Haven't used either of these yet obviously because i've literally just got her 
um quickly did a trip to pick up a load of stuff brought it back down that's basically it um round the back i won't bother showing you this now but i will show you it when i like start doing the videos and stuff but there's another two two of these draw things um one with obviously the gas underneath and then one which is the exact same as this but you can get to it from the outside little cupboard here fire extinguisher some little hooky things and then there are also two plugs now the girls that i got this from um they said that you can only use them when you're hooked up to power oh no that's ripped um so yeah so but i need to figure stuff out i need to speak to my bongo guy about like um the electrics because he did say what he ha i had to take it to him before i could take it on a trip he's had a look at it and he said that the the battery that i've got the leisure battery that i've got is good but it's not been hooked up properly to be charged properly and stuff like that so that's all things that i'll have to get him to do for me now this i have done this myself <laughs> i was kind of just playing about i had this that i've been used that i'm going to use in my caravan and i thought i'm just gonna like stick it on these walls <laughs> and see what it looks like um, i ripped a little bit down there this under here is like a hole under here so it's basically it's like it's kind of like that and we're like i just like put it straight down there like that <laughs> literally like i said the whole thing might come off i actually do think it looks kind of cool but yeah i'm going to be doing a lot to this and i just i don't 100 percent know what i'm going to be doing yet but if i was to keep this here it would be a a waste of storage because there is a little area under there that could be used for storage and obviously you know we don't have a lot of storage in these things so yeah um this is an aft it's oh why have you fallen out i mean this is an old this guys let's be real this is an old vehicle it was made in 1995 so there's going to be issues it's falling apart a little bit like this is this is <laughs> this is coming off this is coming off here um so the this blind is broken but the other blinds there's one there one there one there sorry about like the the changing light is is not going well for my little cannon um they are electric there's a button there and you just um you can turn them up and down but the engine needs to be on i think for that i don't know if that's normal or if they should be able to work off the leisure battery so that could be another issue that needs to be looked at but yeah that's all in due time so she's an aft and she has a popped up flipping roof it's amazing i'm not going to show you it now um because there's, it, there's nothing to it but i will obviously show you it when i do a proper video there's a hatch here which i've decided to keep up um and then and then you can also have that open or shut but i thought for now i'm just going to keep the hatch open so that i can actually if i need to i can have a little bit of sunlight so um so yeah this is literally just a first up i bought this this is what it looks like right now let's convert it or let's like do some fun things to it and just see what we can do if anyone has any cool ideas please do let me know but i am just going to tell you what i was thinking if i can get out of here so i'm obsessed with campers and i watch lots and lots and lots and lots of videos on youtube um i would for me obviously this up here we have a double basically a double sleeping bed um which is awesome but you have to pop the roof up to use it if it's super windy you're not going to want to do that also you might feel that you want to be a little bit more stealthy and if i'm in like a parking lot somewhere i just said parking lot um car park if you're english like myself <laughs> but um i might just not want to be sat there with this big very obvious sleeping tent basically on the top of the van so i'd really like to have a bench along here oh, if you can see i'm sorry it's the light but going along here that's kind of 
kind of want something that's actually permanently there. Just a single. Just a single that's basically goes there. So I, I figured like those boxes could actually go underneath. I just put like board game and a few things in there that I think would be handy in the van at the moment. But this is just kind of what I was thinking. So if I could build something that goes along here. Um, and then when you put the table in between there, I've also got another one of these black thing that goes along. So that's like a full length L shape. It would be like an L, like that. Um, and then I do also have what the previous owner had, these two big cushion things that I basically, I think, would pretty much one would go along there and then one would go down there. And that could just be basically just a set like l-shaped bed but this side would be plenty big enough to just sleep on and it could even just be set up the whole time because it like it won't be an issue i can have like the bedding and everything set on it and still sit on it as a couch throughout the day whatever or just you know what i mean i was just thinking with a pop top um i was watching one girl who went to a festival and she packed up and camped and then she set the bed up like, obviously, it, it, I think she was in a VW and she had to pull out the... It was probably a rock and roll bed or something. So she got it all set up before... Um, she got it all set up for before she was going to go out to the to the festival so she could just come home and sleep. And I was just kind of thinking... I was thinking I couldn't actually do that with this because I can't make the bed until I've popped it up. I mean, I guess you could pop... If you're on a proper campsite, I guess you could pop it up and leave it up the whole time you're there, I guess. But yeah, it was just something i was thinking i'd love to just have a single bench type bed there that's just there all the time if literally i wanted to just lie down right now i could that's kind of what i'm thinking um but yeah that's pretty much um the gist of it but i've what what is this what what the hell is that yeah oh oh um okay so what i do not know what this is if anybody has a bungle and can tell me what this is then that would be very much appreciated uh, this i don't know whether this is to do with the chairs that would have been here before um but I did, I re there was, at one point I was thinking, it's very short when you're in here. I don't know if that is normal or whether this roof has been, or whether this floor has been risen more. Um, I need to actually have a look at some of the other bungalows just because that's not something I've actually looked out for. But yeah, like if anyone knows what this actually is, um, please do let me know because not got a friggin' clue about that one. So yeah, I'm going to just try and get this video edited and I can't even get back on now. I'm going to try and get this video edited and uploaded just as soon as possible because I just want to get started with this little journey. Um, and I'm like, I, this is very random. I can't, I still can't quite believe that I've done this and bought this, but I have and I love it and I'm really excited to get going with it and take her out and take you guys with me and I want to get my channel back up because I need to do something for my mental health, so let this be it, let this be it. Right guys, I love you so, so much. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please hit the su subscribe button. Take two, please hit the subscribe button if you are new here and you haven't already done so. Um, if you're one of my old subscribers though, please do leave me a comment down below because I miss you guys. I'd really be interested to see if any of like my regular subscribers would be interested in this van, kind of like part-time van life, adventure kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it would be awesome. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!